in this topic we'll talk about critical discourse analysis and history and we'll see how historical accounts can be interpreted or can be analyzed and why they should be analyzed uh, through the lens of critical discourse analysis uh, in the beginning i'll just introduce uh, critical discourse analysis and its connection possible connection with historical accounts uh, historiographical researches and how possibly this can uh, help us in conducting better and deep studies with the help of historiographical approaches. According to Flardieu, we can see his uh, historiographical approach to critical discourse analysis seeks to uh, reveal certain hidden assumptions in received and naturalized uh, historical accounts. Uh, how certain uh, accounts have been leg uh, legitimized by certain people maybe by by the people who made others write history or or the historians themselves and how the language has been used to elaborate certain political social cultural uh, religious or any other kind of agendas so the basic aim is to see uh, in what ways some uh, hidden assumptions were given in in certain naturalized uh, historical accounts Investigating discourses about the past opens up certain ways uh, in which we can see th the dynamic nature of meaning-making practices, what practices have been employed in the past and how uh, they are effective today or are still being employed by some people. So this comparison can help us know the kind of manipulation, ex exploitation uh, which has been or, or is still being done by certain people uh, in the contem contemporary so societies also. So we could assume that working with the history or the past accounts of uh, our societies can help us in understanding uh, the sufferings of the people or some other aspects of people in the present also. Exploring the construction of the meaning of the past involves focusing on representations and deceptions of discourses. What kind of representations were given were given to events, people, subjects, objects, rulers, ruled ones, and what kind of uh, receptions of those discourses, what kind of publications, uh, or the kind of audience they received. Uh, Flardieu also thinks that uh, the connection with, uh, with our past, present, and future uh, is necessary in order to make meaning in a certain context. The discourse about our experience as historical being foreground or background certain parts of this phenomena. So our experiences of the past and contemporary experiences also help us to understand uh, certain historical accounts of, about our, ourselves and applying this to on a broader level about our societies also. They, they obviously foreground uh, bring forward certain points and they obviously background try to hide certain things also. So this, this practice uh, can help us underst understand that people who have been writing history were, may also have been tempted, uh, tempted by a certain ideologies, certain individuals, uh, their bosses, their seniors or their family members to foreground certain things and ba background the other ones. Therefore, uh, revisiting historical accounts through critical discourse, discourse analysis may be a very useful ploy to understand uh, the manipulations or exploitations happened in the past and it is also necessary so that such reflections may not be repeated in the pr uh, present. So from a critical perspective we can say our objective is to con construct a past that is quotable in all of its moments and which also make visible various hegemonic and counter hegemonic narratives also uh, during some kind of power struggles in various societies and they may easily be uh, through some academic work and be related to the discourses of the present also. The past is not there as to collect uh, as, as a pre-existing phenomena or object Rather, it is to be constructed through semiotic work. Uh, language is, is, is a part of this work also. So past is not like an object which we can pick and see. It, it, it comes to us through certain accounts, 
some semiotic works, pictures, uh, some kind of art, uh, maybe written or, uh, or painted art, or some kind of oral and written accounts of history. So it has to be decoded for, uh, for the better understanding of our own societies and the world we live in. The practices connected to the construction of the past require social actors' works in identity, ideology uh, of various uh, social groups, uh, ranging from individual to family, family to society, and society to the world. And there are other professional organizations or political or organizations which might fit in well in this overall paradigm. Discourses of the past occur in social practices associated with everyday experiences of our own selves or the people living around us. Simultaneously, they, they can be found in inst institutionalized practices such as uh, the writing of history textbooks also. Therefore, historiographical CDA has explored the representation of the past as content as well as as a process. They not only tr treat a historical account uh, as a content, a, a kind of piece of language, but uh, also as a process through which certain social change, certain power relations ha may have been mediated. The exploration of discourses about situations that have contemporary political and moral impact is also a prime concern of historiographical researchers in critical discourse analysis. And that's why we can see how uh, how their meaning may be relevant to us or how could they help us in making our uh, contemporary society better than what we had in the past. CDS his, his, his historiographical approach uh, aims to contribute to our understanding of the reproduction of inequality and, and discrimination in contemporary societies also. Focusing on the uses of past uh, to reproduce power differences in the ways in which official history silences victims or government uh, narratives, rulers' narratives, uh, take a sway over all other narratives in which uh, government erases their lack of uh, performance in terms of their masses' human rights. Uh, the work in such areas uh, leads us to uh, lead, leads us to uh, know about the destructive uses of history, so how history has been used to distract common people and uh, the histories or historical accounts were manipulated for such purposes. But the critique has also been expanded to go beyond demystification uh, to raising critical awareness among masses to provide alternative readings of the past. So. Uh, th these studies have been very useful in not only demystifying, decoding coding what kind of manipulation or uh, exploitation have been done in the past, but it also helped us to know some, uh, to uh, seek an awareness about these things, but also to seek some altern alternative views also. Uh, taking on these challenges, researchers have responded as scholars and also as citizens brushing history against the grain. That means they have seen history from a crit critical view so that the similar historical conditions may not affect uh, the common people in the same negative way as they did in the past. So this probably is very close to, to the core aim of critical discourse studies which is to make uh, contemporary so societies better than, than the previous ones through the element of a healthy critique.